What's up guys, this is Stavan Micic here. I'm here with my dad, Steve, or Milosh as you might know him. We're here to go over the series, Wrestlers Who Inspire Me. This is part three of the series. So the last uh, two episodes that we just covered were about wrestlers who were before my generation, before I was even born. Uh, so this one, we're gonna cover someone who I watched wrestling live, uh, one of my favorites to watch. And who is that? That's a Mavlet Batirov. Uh, two-time Olympic champion. He was a uh, gold in 2004 Athens and then 2008 Beijing. Back-to-back -back Olympic golds, 55 kilos and then 60 kilos. And also a world champion in uh, Baku, I believe in 2007 at 60 kilos. I really liked him because First of all, as much as, you know, he doesn't have the same body type as me. He's short, stocky, very defensive wrestler, and that's probably what he's known for the most, right? But yes. what's it, but his number one control is something that I really liked, and uh, someone, something we haven't seen or a lot of wrestling is, and that's the elbow control in the modern era of wrestling. That's right. Uh, we talked about John Smith and how he kind of inspired Stevan to start working on elbow control, and Stevan was working on elbows, ducks, but watching Mavlet Batirov, he, he kind of had a little different twist. He was hitting a knee pull single off of an elbow. Yeah, and it was something that like everyone knew was coming, it, but no one could stop it. Pretty much unstoppable for him to, you know, he hit it on everybody who knew it was coming. But I think but. what was really interesting about his wrestling stuff, and we tried it for a while, is that he would come in and he would be cocked at a certain quadrant. Sort of coming in where he was a righty and he could come in at an angle trying to feed for his, his elbow control. And this was good because, you know, unconventionally when guys kind of come in with more of a square stance, you know, you're susceptible to both sides of the body being attacked. So if he's a righty, um, yeah, so if he's with his right leg, he'd actually he would lead a little bit more with this side of his body and come for the elbow here. He'd so now head position also. Yes, so then what ends up happening is when he pulls the elbow, he kind of just slid through to attack for the leg and then with his with his lead leg, uh, you know, in front, he's only susceptible to people attacking his leg, which he was very good at scoring from and defending from. So it kind of was a really good foolproof system. And he, honestly, he kind of gave half the body to the wrestler, and then he also gave up head position, and then he would just slip underneath there. Yes, he could he could down block and slide, slide under there, and slide through. And you know, because he's short, he could pick it right up to his feet, finish the takedown, and uh, you know, and then defensively. Probably one of the mo the best wrestlers I've ever seen wrestle defensively. I mean, if you watch his Olympic finals match, one of my favorites ever against Stephen Abbas from USA and the finals in Athens. I mean, I believe uh, Abbas actually won in 2003 against him in, uh, at the World Championships in New York. And I was a huge Stephen Abbas fan about how he attacked uh, his, his offense, his duck under something more of my style. And then going and watching Batirov come with a vengeance just to smash him. I mean, I think it was like 10 to one or something, something violent. I mean, he just wrecked it in the Olympic finals and this was just you could just see he had a chip on his shoulder and it was awesome to, to see someone like that come in and uh, you know wrestle and you know I'm usually someone who likes to watch wrestlers that are more my style but for him just how he is I really appreciate his positioning and you know having you know having that Dagestan style where he's from kind of a uh, you know He's, he's, a, he's a staple for that for that style. That's it for today. Just stay tuned next week for another wrestler who inspires me. Another one of my favorites from the modern era. Maybe the greatest wrestler of all time, if not the greatest of all time. Uh, that gives it away. But uh, stay tuned, like this video, subscribe for more content, and keep following us on our journey for the Paris Olympics. Let's go.